United States Championship, Antonio Cesaro against R-Truth. And nobody should really be surprised that this match is on the card because they've been having all these matches back and forth over the past few weeks and everything. But I would be really surprised if R-Truth won the championship here. I think that if there's any match that you can bet on the winner of, other than, obviously, uh, the fact that you're going to see uh, probably Rhodes Scholars beat uh, Rey Mysterio and Zinkara. Any other ones that are like a solid lock would be Antonio Cesaro retaining his championship. He's not going anywhere uh, with this. Probably, I would say, keeping the championship even until WrestleMania, if not after WrestleMania, and dropping it a little bit after that. It sort of depends on who who they have lined up to take the title for him, whether it's The Miz or... Uh, no, I don't really know. It kind of all depends, but whatever the uh, fuck, you know. Right? Yeah. Uh, it should be about as good as the other match did. It's filler. I'm not looking forward to it too much, but Antonio Cesaro retains and hopefully uses that uppercut for his finisher instead of the neutralizer. I'm still not a big fan of that. Yeah, especially when the the uppercut looks a thousand times more impressive and vicious. That really it, should be his finisher. Just press. Press someone up in the air and they fall right into a vicious uppercut. Like that, that looks good. You know, how it looks like it has some impact behind it. Anyway, like this, the, the whole base of the feud is ridiculous. So Cesaro, with, who was it? Some, I think Barrett was double teaming Kingston, and then R Truth came to his aid and got pissed off that Cesaro was beating up uh, Kofi, and that started the whole feud. Yeah, because of their like old that. tag team that had no name. Yeah, 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 our boom or whatever. Our boom. Our boom. Our boom. <laughs> Jesus, God, the our boom. Air truth. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, and then they had their match my series. I see this one being a little longer than that one, maybe being a little better. But Cesaro's retaining. I, I don't think there's any arguing against that unless they pull some shocker. I doubt it. Antonio's retaining his championship. Yeah, I'm a Cesaro fan. I want to see him retain it. Our truth, bland as hell. Don't care to see him holding anything. And as far as the finishers thing, every time he's ever attempted the neutralizer, it's just looked sloppy. At Monday when he did it on Kofi, I thought that was nice. But yeah, I, I definitely agree. The uppercut is top notch. Either that, or he needs to do that little arm cannon thing, but with real guns. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Cesaro all the way. It's not even questionable. I I don't think there's a universe where R-Truth wins unless they're just like, hey, let's have him do it just because no one will think they will. Yeah, Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with you guys. I I think Cesaro, he's just going to, like I said, it's a filler match, and they're just going to run through the motions. So while everybody else is getting warmed up for their events, they're just going to have these guys duke it out, and you you can actually go ahead and use bathroom. Is sort of why yeah because he's going to be able to predict every move that's going to be coming out there. <laughs> uh, that brings us to the next part. Episode ten is going to be the World Heavyweight Championship chairs match, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be talking a little bit of shit on that one. So check out that coming up right after this one. 